Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back again with another uh, a uh, another episode of Pride in Career Mode. I'm gonna be streaming for a bit, and I think I'm gonna try to do. I think I'm gonna try to do a, a month or two, and then end it there. On to the next episode. I haven't been on for a while. I think it's been like two or three days uh, since I've streamed. Um, I think somebody was in my account in FIFA, and they sold some of my players that I had on Ultimate Team. So I've been trying to get that solved with EA, but it's been like two days now. I did play the weekend league. I did absolutely garbage. I didn't even post what I got because it was just terrible. Uh, I, I don't know. I guess I just wasn't feeling it this weekend. And uh, I only got six wins. I got frustrated and I choked. So, well, anyways, we're back here in another episode of Brian Kermo. Brian, <laughs> ironically, our opponent for today, we're going to be simulating. They beat. Right in five, what was it, 5-1? Five, 5-1, one. Five, one. Everton beat Brighton. Absolutely shambles. Actually, all games from today were, were pretty good. I would say Nottingham Forest beating Southampton 4-3. And Fulham beating Leicester 5-3. Some really good games. But the episode ended abruptly last time. Um, I don't know what happened. I didn't end it myself. Um, I, for some reason, it just it just ended the live stream there. Um, but where we left off was with a what was it? It was a three zero three zero victory at Crystal Palace. We won, and I was checking out the stats, and that's when the um that's when the uh, the stream ended. Uh, and we were supposed to simulate this home game, and we, we still are. We're going to simulate this home game. And there's a wake up. I don't even know. Is it uh what is it? Carabao Cup. I think we're going to simulate it too. If we get knocked out by Everton, so be it. And then we're going to go into the next month. And we are going to... Use a new formation for September, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna spin the wheel to see how many of these games we're gonna play. If we have to play all the games, then that will be the episode. It will be all five games in the episode. If we uh, play three games, we might go into the next month. And there's a lot of games there as well, so we'll we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, let's let's get started. We're gonna go ahead and simulate a uh, couple of these games here. Also, we have the uh, end of the transfer window, I believe, coming up. I don't think I'm gonna be signing anybody else. I think I'm happy with how the team is right now. Um, let's see here. We're gonna. Play simulate. We're gonna simulate Mullins Law offer. Who is this guy? Okay, they're gonna sing out on loan hopefully for two years. And uh, just wondering, boss, have I got a chance of being involved in our next game? Mm. Yeah, why not? You can play. Let me uh, let me go to play game. We're going to go ahead and team manage. I think for this game, we're going to let... We're going to let Ferguson start. Why not? We're going to let Ferguson start. And we're going to let Modere start. We're going to let some of the big boys um, rest. Cabana, he can come in as well. And we will rest Webster and play Ben Hecke. That'll... No. Can he can play? He can play CDM. Okay. We'll rest Caicedo as well. And we'll play... 
I won't play Gilmore. Yeah. It's going to be an interesting lineup. Hopefully it doesn't backfire on me. And, uh, yeah, let's simulate this game. Hopefully it doesn't backfire on me. Mitoma and Marsh can carry. Hopefully Ferguson gets a couple goals. Let's go. Let's see what we get. It's a 3-1 victory. Let's go. Two. Two goals from Gross. Two goals from Gross. And a goal from Ferguson. Let's go. That's a big boost for Ferguson. Let's go. Awesome. Let's go. Let's go. Um, player Ch Ben Hackey. I'm really happy we managed to get the win today. Thanks for being true to your word. Of course. I think you have a future at this club, so. Uh, let's see. Don't pressure yourself. Keep working hard to improve. Yeah, keep working hard. And then. Let's see here. Hold on, guys. Give me a second. I think somebody's at the door. Okay, I'm back, guys. Um, thought there was somebody knocking at the door. No, there was nobody. Um, let's keep going. Okay, let's go. Mullins has a green. We shall send him out to, is that Andorra in Spain? I believe so. I can't recall, but... We got the next part, Everton game. Everton currently at four points. So this should be a big game again. And hopefully we can get more. Any other team that's chasing us. Now what I do want to check is. Yeah, good squad there, of course. What I do want to check is. Currently they're in six, we're in second, but who, what was the result last game? Last game the result was a, a two on win over Leeds. So it's like, not too impressive, it's a win over Leeds, but um, hopefully we can get the big three. And let's see, what do we have here? We're not alone now, players on international duty. Um, I know that eventually you're going to be looking for a new striker, but that can do a job for you in that position if you give me a chance. It'll take some hard work. You got some growing up to do. You're only a 69 overall, but you are 18, so there's that. Let's check out the squad. The squad looks nice and healthy. I believe that's my strongest setup as well. Also, El Pedro actually signed for Brighton. He's the new record transfer fee, and we got him for like seven mil in the game. But he, I believe his transfer f was like forty million or fifty million or something like that. If I'm correct, I, I haven't checked it out, but I do know that he was signed by Brighton. So that's one signing I got right. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go. Yeah, and um, let's see. Let's look at their lineup. Aaron's, Mina. I wonder if that's Aaron's from Norwich. Maybe they signed up. Godfrey, Tarkowski, Pickford, Dunkure, Terrier. Okay. I think really the only player we got to worry about is maybe Calvert Lewin and Dunkure, maybe. We'll see. Let's simulate. Hopefully, we get this dub. Oh, 
my. <laughs> ah, we lost. Wow, we actually lost. They got their get back. <laughs> we beat them 3-1 away from home, but they beat us 1-0. That's, and that's with our stronger team, too. That's tragic. <laughs> oh, not much we can do there. It is what it is. So we dropped points at home. We got the transfer window coming up. I, I think that's, yeah, that's Jamie Mullins. Okay. He's gone for two years. Um, oh, God. I didn't mean to do that. Um, let's see here. Rumors. Fakir to Man City or Liverpool. Saliva to Real Madrid. Madeiros as signed for Leon. Maripan to Real Sociedad. Tritrita to Arsenal. Big signing for Arsenal at right back. That's a big signing. Oh, we're going to have to see the signings that our uh, rivals have made. So we go transfer for 410. Yeah, I'll accept that. I'm trying to get rid of him. Um, let's see here. Let's see. What did I want to check? Uh, how much money do I have? Let me see. I have 9 mil. I think I'm going to keep that money for the winter transfer window. Maybe I have to... Uh, Renew some contracts as well. I'm, I think that's it. Yeah, I won't. I don't think I'll be signing anybody, but I want to check out. I want to check out um, what the top deals have been so far. So they always gone to Barcelona. I don't know if that's a signing. I, I don't know if that's something that Theo would do in real life because he was a Real Madrid player at one point. But you never know. I mean, there's been a lot of players that have gone from Real Madrid to Barcelona and Barcelona to Real Madrid. Um, he's currently rated 86. Big signing for Barcelona for the future, too. He's only 24. Osimhen to Real Madrid. You know, if Mbappe doesn't get signed, I think Osimhen could be a good shout for Real Madrid, especially with Benzema getting older. How overall is he? 86 overall. He started as an 83 at the beginning of the FIFA 23 career. That's cool. Edder Militao to Paris. That, that's not happening. <laughs> but in the game, it's happened. Laporte and Bayern Munich. Chick to Manchester United. A big striker signing for Manchester United. See if that helps Manchester United maybe go on top four. Moreno and Milan. That's an older signing, okay. Bastonia Man City, that's a big signing. But they also sold Laporte, so I mean it's a pretty much an exchange but for a younger center back. Declan Rice to Atletico, that's I mean, I don't know if Declan Rice would go to Spain, but alright. Marino to Juve, could see that happening. No Norman who I was trying to sign has gone to Roma for fifty nine. I wouldn't have been able to afford him. Hernandez to Atletico. I believe that's him returning to Atletico. Jimenez to Inter. Okay, makes sense why they signed Hernandez. Timber to Benfica. That's a random signing. <laughs> but, okay. Yeah. Martinez to Spurs. Okay, okay. Shreetniar to Arsenal. Wow, Arsenal is over here boosting their team up with Dertrida and Shreetniar. They're, they boosted up their defense for sure. Alberto, Luis Alberto to Arsenal as well. They boosted up their midfield. Okay. Tapsova, Man City. Simon to Chelsea. Another big goalkeeper for Chelsea. Sunset to Real Betis. Doesn't have a rating. Dardero to Sociedad. Stones, Napoli. David to Wolves. Good signing for Wolves. And Gondogan to Paris. Um, I, I could see that happening. Mancini to Spurs. Correa to Bayern Munich. Canales to Leipzig, okay. Ignacio to me, the record signing for Brighton, okay. Di Lorenzo, any other big signings here? Let me see. Iglesias to United, so another oh, another striker, okay. Hmm. There's Jutrida to Arsenal. Khan to Juve, okay. Inaki Williams, let's just try to stay up with a big boy signing in Inaki. Koke to Newcastle. 
Kepa to Roma. Okay, so there's one goalkeeper leaving Chelsea. Okay. Tierney to Leicester. Big signing for Leicester. Okay. Big signing. Mm. Grenado to Man City. That's a big signing as well. Ah, that's a big signing as well. Guerrero is somebody that can go with a position change from left side to center mid too, but not that they're going to do it. But Aspas to Sevilla, Tony, Ake to Fiorentina. Okay, Shaka to Leicester. Leicester is boosting up. Leicester and Arsenal are boosting up their teams. Okay, okay, big signings. Anybody else? Fulham sign Elliot. That's a, that's a good signing for Fulham. A young Cam for them. Okay. Yeah, it's a big, big, big signings, of course. Okay. And while that's going on, he, while we simulate, okay, La Lama, let me see what form, what formation they're going to be playing. Three, three, four, and five. Let's spin the wheel. Advance one hour. Oh, we're going to be playing five at the back. Yelmer with a one year loan. I think I'm going to keep him. Yeah. We're playing five at the back for this month. Okay. Interesting. Five at the back. Okay. That's interesting. Let me, uh, Team sheets. Then you go to create a new team sheet. Call it five. Okay. That's interesting. So we're gonna be playing five at the back. We got the five four. Oh, oh no. We got the five four one D. That's the diamond. Five four one flat. We got three two holding. And five, two, three. And I believe that is it. So we got five formations to choose from. Am I right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. Spin the wheel. Let's see what formation we're going to be playing. We are going to be playing five, four, one flat. Five, four, one flat. There you go. That's our formation for the month. Oh, this could prove a problem, can't it? Let me see. Lampley, Lampley can play there. Webster. Um, our midfield is still pretty much good. Although Caicedo, that could be a problem. Let's do that. Bring him down a little bit. Bring him, bring him down. No. 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 Okay. We got Ignacio. I think I'm gonna just play Caicedo at center back. Why not? Um. Ross. Continue anything. And what I'm gonna do, I think, is I'm gonna. There you go. So I'm going to have Ignacio and Webster, and then Caicedo as my center back, middle center back slash CDM. He's going to, I want him to be like, uh, I'm not sure what you, I'm not sure what you call it. I'm not sure what you call it, but he's going to, I guess that's the best way to put it. Um, that's going to be for this month here. Okay. So we'll do that. Um, yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Uh, there's just the possession loss. Our whiff, I don't know. I don't think I want my whiff that high. We want to have uh, direct passing. Fast build up works. 60 depth, yeah. I'm happy with that and maybe switching him up. To cover the center, 
drop between the fenders. There you go. I'm going to keep it like that. That's perfect. Oh, I almost forgot. Let me select it as my active. There you go. That's my active lineup right now. And of course, it's messed up my what I've done. Uh, hey, when it does that, there you go. It should be good now. Okay, there you go. I want to keep simulating this. Oh. Is that La Lana? Yep, Lana's gone. La Lana is gone. I want to check something real quick here. My calendar for next month. I want to see how many games we've been. One, two, three, four, five. Five games. Okay. Let me put that in the wheel and see how many games we're going to be playing. Um, let's see. Zero, one, two. Three, four, and five. Spin the wheel. What we got here? Gross to Lazio. No, I'm gonna keep Gross for one more season. And keep advancing. Okay, we're playing two games this month. Two out of five games. That's uh two out of five games. I don't think any more transfers are going to come. Diego Costa to Manchester United. That's a good signing for Manchester United. They have, in real life, has been a problem for for uh, Man United. Pau Torres to Inter. That's a good signing for Inter after they lost Sprint Young. And I believe also Bastoni. So that's a good signing for them. Okay. So we have, we're going to be playing two games this month. What games do we play? I think I will play this Arsenal game. We're going to play the Arsenal game. Oh, we got Man City as well. What is this? Is this the FA Cup? What is, what is it? Carabao Cup. Okay. Okay. Do we play Man City, yes or no? We're going to be playing Arsenal and I think Villarreal, our first Europa League game. Do we play Man City? And the answer is Arsenal and Villarreal and simulating the rest of the games for the month. So let's do that. We got an inbox here. What do we got? Match reschedule, transfer window, park. Park is still growing. We'll let him stay there for a bit. And... Uh, yeah, let's keep simulating what we got, McAllister. <sighs> no, that's a terrible offer of Wolves. That's a terrible offer. Let's keep simulating. Let's see here. Arsenal currently on three points, which means they've lost their last... They've at least lost the last couple of games. They lost to Aston Villa 2-1. They lost to Newcastle 1-0. Okay, this could be a good chance for us to uh, get another three points. Um, yeah, that's where we're going with. Let's go. Let's get right to it. Martinelli, Jesus, Saka, Partey, Odengar, Jorginho, Sinchenko, Skinner, Jotrida. You're playing Jotrida at center back, even though he's a right back. Did they get rid of Saliva? I think they got rid of Saliva, that's why. And I think they got rid of Gabriel. I think I would put Ben White at center back and have three to play at right back, but that's just me. Um, jerseys are good. Let's play.
ahí la formación del Arsenal. Bastante convencional el modelo que ponen en el 11, un 4-3-3. Y sí, uno se imagina que van a tener que ir a buscar el partido y eso es bueno. Ya comienza el partido, no ponemos las filas. Ya era hora, señor árbitro. Vamos a jugar. Cuánta imaginación en ese pase. Y no hay mucho para decir de esta jugada. Turno de Martinelli. Y ahí se queda con esa pelota. Veremos el debut de este joven en el encuentro de hoy. No sé qué podríamos llegar a esperar del mismo. La verdad que la, la, la gente lo estaba pidiendo, lo estaba pidiendo. Y bueno, con un esfuerzo increíble. ¡Gol! Go, ¡Let's go! ¡Un dab! ¡Let's go! Entretenido hasta ahora, uno así estamos. Bucayo saca. Ha perdido saca. Balón de saca. Recibe Jorginho. Gabriel Jesús. Por ahí le tiene Gabriel Jesús. Punto final le ha puesto la defensa a este ataque. Ahí transporta la pelota y en terreno rival. El disparo que apenas va ganando altura. Ataca Arsenal por la banda. saca, este puede ser el empate brillante el arquero y esta afición tira para adelante y el equipo tiene que empatar se viene el tiro de esquina al área se cruza el defensor para taparlo en la línea, evitado el gol es una pena Fernando porque la oportunidad que tenía era bastante clarita pero el arco dijo que no que buena pelota responde bien la defensa Defiende bien para recuperarla. Balón que queda en la mitad de la cancha. Atento que se viene el contraataque. Balón de saca. Ha recuperado la bocha. Ahora que se viene el cierre de la primera parte. La ligera ventaja de la visita por ahora. Dándoles una victoria parcial. Lo importante es que vaya a ganar. Eso sí. Atención que esto trae peligro. O traía nomás porque hay bandera levantada y Orsay. Pascal Gross. ¡Qué pase ha metido! Era su doblete, pero se han quedado en manos del arquero. Se quedó helado. Ahí se acomoda para patear el córner. Tsunami de oportunidades en el área. Puede convertir. La pelota bloqueada. Hace falta que diga algo. Se le pegó espantoso. El silbato que nos dice que el primer tiempo se ha terminado. Hoy parece que no ha podido ofrecer ni cerca de su mejor versión. Digamos que la participación, nula. Tiros al arco.
Segunda mitad en marcha, ya se mueven los corazones de los Gunners. Arranca ya el intento del Arsenal por empatarlo. Nos preguntamos si este juego de construcción les permitirá empatar el partido. Y lamentablemente la jugada que termina en na. Interviene bien ahí para cortar. Solid March. Clarísima oportunidad. Pelota al palo. Con el arco abierto. Go, let's go. Wound up in the right spot again. Let's go. Me thought I'm hitting the uh, hitting the bar, but let's go 2-0. Saca la recibe. Ahí nomás se cortó el ataque. Balón de saca. Bien defendido ese cintro. Ah, uh, come on, Robert Sanchez. You gotta do better there. Did a first good save, man. Come on. Ah, oh, that's terrible. First could save and then uh, reactions weren't fast enough. That's tough, man. Let's go. La preocupación ha vuelto a la cara de aquellos que están en el banco porque la diferencia ahora se achica. Se reanuda el juego. Arsenal lo tiene todo para poder empatar. Ah, le parece fuera de. El peor de los riesgos es no arriesgar. Se arriesga ahora este técnico con tres cambios al mismo tiempo. Tomás. El balón de Skriniar. Gabriel Jesús. Es buena esa pelota. Turno de Martinelli. Martinelli. Ya está. Oh, come on. <laughs> Uh, Arsenal have completely broken me down in the last 10 mi in-game minutes. What is that? I don't even know how to stop that from happening. <laughs> That's crazy. Un claro ejemplo que los equipos superan las individualidades, se recuperan para emparejar el partido. Va bien abajo a defender a Isaac el lateral. Anda generoso este muchacho hoy. Ya entramos en el último cuarto de hora de partido. Puede llegar tranquilidad con esta recuperación de balón. Oportunos estuvieron. Se viene el lateral. Ya podemos informar con toda seguridad que el Leicester City va a fichar al jugador por el que tanto esfuerzo han hecho para incorporar a su plantel. Adiós a los rumores. Esto es un hecho. Bueno, viene el portero, pero sigue. Ahí se quedó tapado en la defensa. Recurre a un cambio en el arsenal. 
Ahí va a meter el corner. Lo despeja bien la pelota, sigue ahí. Ojo que va a final, sigue 2 a 2. ¿Cuál será el próximo partido, Marito? Y el próximo partido el Arsenal se enfrentará al Real Madrid. En el siguiente encuentro, en la película que se había formado de este partido, el técnico no contaba con el empate. Así que me imagino que la necesidad de puntos será esencial para el otro encuentro. Con esta que tiene el Arsenal se puede venir un festejo. Goner, atentos. Y no, no va a pasar nada con esto. Hay un rebote claro. ¡Gol! Oh my God, you have to be kidding me. <laughs> Ref, what is that? I got the ball back and you didn't blow the whistle. You gave two minutes. We're almost five, six minutes. That's tragic, man. Ah, come on, to lose it like that. I'm gonna give my man of, man of the match to uh, Undav for this one. Partidazo el que viviremos hoy, el primer encuentro de la fase de grupos de la UEFA Europa League. Acompáñenos en este partidazo, síganos en la pantalla de EA Sports. Bienvenidos y gracias por acompañarnos en este nuevo partidazo. Les saludamos con Mario Alberto Kempes, soy Fernando Palomo. Hoy seguimos con la acción de la fase de grupos de la Europa League. Brighton Hove Albion se estará cruzando ante el complicadísimo Villarreal. Son pocos partidos, nosotros estamos esperando que comience ya. Hay que mantener una cierta regularidad en la fase de grupo. Bueno, y si te dejas punto en el camino, después lo podés pagar. Estos son los 11 del Brighton. Yo creo que fácilmente se puede decir que lo que este equipo busca es ir a apurar al contrario, sacarle la pelota bien arriba. Esto nos va a garantizar que los primeros minutos sean dinámicos a más no poder. 
y arranca así la fase de grupo de la UEFA Europa League. Solid March. Muy buen rechazo, llevaba peligro el centro. Continúa con el esférico. Sale el centro pasado. Let's go, let's go, McAllister. Let's go, come on. 1 0. Para quedarse con uno de los mejores goles que verán en mucho tiempo. Y vemos el comienzo de un centro perfecto. La verdad que tenían que hacer un trabajo muy lindo y limpio para doblegar esta defensa. Lo consiguieron y convirtieron. Entretenido hasta ahora, 1 a 0 estamos. Ahí está el empate. Qué manera de cortar el peligro. Era el balón perfecto, pero se pasó de ganas. McAllister presionaron muy bien y ahí tiene la pelota buena acción defensiva gran chance para anotar que buen bloqueo balón suavecito muy suavecito Muy buen corte defensivo. ¡Ojo al piojo! ¡Que hay gol en el partido de Lille! Llegó el primero para el Lille. Abrimos el marcador con este 1-0. 28 minutos de partido. Probaremos en alemán ahora. Es Dan Kaiden Sachdefur, mein Freund. Buena intervención del arquero. Ahí recupera la pelota en su campo y con esto la tranquilidad. Va a reponer la pelota desde el costado. Alberto. Morales. Kramaric. Morales. Se van todos arriba para buscar el empate desde el córner. Gran salida del arquero para ir a cortar ese córner. Están tratando de ahogar la salida. Siguen tocando la pelota sin cesar. Están dando una cátedra de fútbol y le van a sacar provecho. Han recuperado bien y en zona de peligro. Buenísima pelota, miren la que van a dar. Go, let's go, McAllister again. McAllister showing up in the uh, Europa League. Let's go. Le pegó Fernando con alma y vida, eh. El arquero, nada que hacer. Final del primer acto en este estadio. Y es así como arranca la segunda parte del primer partido de la fase de grupos de la UEFA Europa League. Eso se llama proteger el balón. Por acá me cuentan que hubo gol en el partido de Lille. Se trata del segundo para el Lille. Se extiende la ventaja por 2 a 0. 48 minutos de partido. Gracias, Emile. Fratello, gracias. Así. Ah, come on. It's the same thing as the Arsenal game. We can see it straight after the second half starts. Come on. de un córner corto y que es el comienzo de lo que vendría después y el segundo acto 
es el cabezazo que mete para que toda la gente se alegre de este gol. Se reanuda la actividad con el Villarreal y en condiciones de empatar. Alberto. Bien ahí para quedarse de nuevo con la pelota y en su propio sector. Se podría hacer un libro solo de la cantidad de rumores que se imprimieron sobre la llegada de este jugador. Pues ahora, bueno, publíquenlo porque se recontra confirma. Bueno, la... Lo que ha demostrado este jugador es mucho talento. Creo que el futuro que tiene por delante es muy lindo, siempre y cuando haga caso, que tenga los pies sobre la tierra, que haga caso a su director técnico. Y claro, le falta un poquito más de experiencia en la cancha. ¡La volea! Ha parado muy bien la... Yo no sé qué va a hacer este equipo para dar vuelta a este resultado. ¿eh? No, no se les ve, no se les ve a la hora de definir que tengan las ideas claras. Pronóstico de cielos abiertos por la banda. Bien despejado el peligro. Ya entramos en el último cuarto de hora de partido. Otra vez la bocha cambia de dueño. McAllister. Atentos que se mira la contra. Ojo que necesita más jugadores atrás. Sin entrar en locuras debe darse prisa. De momento lo están haciendo bien. Buscan el empate. Ocasión del empate. Qué susto se pegara. Sí. Es lo que tenía que llegar para que este partido siguiera adelante y pudiera festejar. ¿eh? Técnico que decide hacer una sustitución. Corner al corazón del área. Mira qué bien despejaron el corner. De acá se pueden descolgar en transición. Con esto lo liquida. Sensacional en el arco. Esto es amor propio, Fernando. ¿eh? Queda poquito para que termine el partido y fíjate lo que hace. Tiro de esquina justo al corazón del área. Ese balón va al palo. Entramos ya en el último minuto de juego. Juan Foy. Y así es como llegamos al final del partido. Let's go. 2-1 victory. Let's go. Big start to the Europa League. All right, so we're back. Um, oh, I didn't even give my man of the match for that last game. It's going to be McAllister, obviously. Two beautiful goals for McAllister. No question about it. McAllister is my man of the match. Now, we're going to be simulating the rest of the games for this month. Uh, we, we were only able to play two games. I chose Arsenal and I chose Villarreal. So hopefully we don't drop points to West Ham.
right now. Uh, our team is a bit tired. I think I'm going to go with it anyways. Yeah, let's go with it anyways. That's their lineup. No more Declan Rice. I just remember that. So hopefully we can get this dub. And let's check it out. 3-1 victory. Let's go. Go another goal for McAllister, a goal from Joe Pedro as soon as he came in for Undav, and a goal from Mitoma. So Undav, I believe, hasn't scored in two games. So I think I might give Joe Pedro a goal in the next game against uh, Man City. I think we're playing Man City next. I think I'm gonna give have him play that game for me. We got the Monday Sky Report coming back. Let's see if there's anything special in there. Uh, doesn't look like it. Oh. Patrick Harrington can play. Looks like he can play center back, right back, and right mid. I'm going to sign him up for now. It's uh, a good shout right there. Another one. Another center back, right back, and right mid. I'm going to sign him up as well. And I'm going to reject the rest of these guys. Yep. You know, I was thinking about it. I think I might, after the six months, I think I might send out my scout to Ecuador. I think you can send them out to Ecuador. Um, that's probably what I'll be sending my my uh, my scout next because they, we got Sarmiento. Moises Caicedo, uh, Stupinha. We got a couple of Ecuadorian players, so um, why not? So here we go. We got these. Uh, we got two right backs here. One can play left back as well. Um, Patrick Harrington, 61 overall. Let's check out his stats real quick. He's got decent passing. Um, decent passing. He's got okay pace, okay physical. This might be somebody that could probably play like right mid, but we already have a right mid, so maybe at center mid. Maybe we could train him to be a center mid or keep him as a right back. And we got a four star, five star right back. Let's check out his stats. His stats are a little bit more defensive. He is definitely going to be a defender for me. How tall is he? Maybe he could five five eight. Okay. Maybe he can be a left back for me. Maybe he's right footed, so we'll see. Okay, but two more good players coming in through the ranks. All on the right side. Hopefully we can get some players on the through the middle soon. Um but we now have Man City in the Carabao Cup. Um I spun the wheel. I uh, wasn't able to get this game to go for me. Our team is tired. This is just doesn't look good for us. Coming up against Han, they're all well rested. Oh, this doesn't look good. <laughs> oh, we're gonna start drop Pedro like I said. Oh man, we're gonna have to play like a, a smaller side against them. That's oh, that's tragic. One there, and Gilmore will be playing this match. Caicedo. Uh, uh, are we going to have to play? No. We can play there. CDM, CDM. It's more defensive. I think I want more there, there. And I think uh, I'm going to have to start a Yari there. It looks like I'm going to have to start a Yari there. Estupinian, Carbonovic. And that knee is tired as well. We're gonna start wrench. It looks like oh, it looks like Dunk is back as well. Has no sharpness whatsoever. I'm gonna give him a go. I think. Actually, no. I'm gonna risk. Uh, I'm gonna hold him off for one more game. Um, but it's good to know that he's back. Um, yeah. Uh, this is not the strongest side. Are we coming up against one of the strongest Prem sides? <laughs> um, let's see how it goes. Oh, 
Oh wow. Two two. Five four in penalties. That sucks losing in penalties. But it's a Carabao Cup. Um Sarmiento getting a goal, good for him. Wrench getting a goal. Foden getting a goal and Holland obviously getting a goal. Job Pedro getting a goal disallowed. That sucks. We could have won we could have actually won this game with us our second team ish. Okay. That, that's tough. That is tough. Got a loan out for a fire. Um yeah, I think I'll send him out if I can get him out on all oh, the one year. Um, we'll do that and let's see. I think we have a couple more games here. We got Nottingham Forest. This is a big game. We both have nine points. Currently, how it stands, uh, their last game, they let's see here. They they drew against Leeds away from home. Let's hope that we can beat them. I hope we can. Let's let's see how our lineup is looking like. Caster is still tired. Um, let's look at the team here. Uh, we'll put Cole off the bench here. We'll keep him there for now. And that's looking good. I'm gonna keep my Caster in there. Um. I want to get Dunk's sharpness up before I put him back into the lineup. Obviously, Webster and Inasir are doing a good job for me. So, that's their lineup. Let's see. Felipe, Navas, Javier, Lodi, Mangala, Fuller, Danilo, Gibbs, White, Bibu, and Diallo. I think Navas might be a difference in this game. Hopefully not. Oh, we'll see. Well, it's quick sim, obviously. And it's a 3-2 victory for us. Let's go. Big win. Big win. Goals from Lamptey, Undav. A goal from Fruller for them. Caicedo coming off at the 45th minute. I hope that's not an injury. Two goals from Undav. Let's go. Undav stepping it up again once more. That's good. That is very good. Let's see here, Leo won their game 2-0 against Norris Jalen, so this could be for the top of the group. You know, obviously it is for the top of the group. Let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can uh, surpass Leo. They got Bayo Cavella, Unas, Good Goodmanson, Dominguez, Martin, Ismaili, Font, Giallo, and Yaquita and Costo. Good defense. Um, I don't know their midfield or their attack, actually. I, I know Cavella, and I think I know Unas, and that's about it. Um, let's see if uh, Dunk is good to go or not. Is Dunk good to go? Does it look like it? Um, I'm going to give Dunk a go. I mean, he's back. Why not give him a go? Give him some game time. Lampy, the rest of my team looks good, I think so, yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Let's simulate this game. Hopefully we get a dub away from home against Leo. That will be a big victory if we do. It's a... Oh. That's a tough loss. Two goals from Bayo. Never heard of this guy, Bayo, but he got two goals for Leo. Um... That means Leo takes top of the group for now. And uh, that's uh, that's it for now. Um, oh, let's check this out here. Um, U Squad, obviously, we know who's there now. Yep, looking good. Not going to bring him in yet. That's going to be it for, for right now. I'm gonna end it here. And let's see how many games we got for this one. We have one, two, three, four, five. We got five games. So in the next episode, I'll be seeing how many games we're gonna play from for this month, for the month of October. And um, yeah, um, 
that's where I'm going to end it for now. Thanks for watching, and uh, till the next episode.